apologies about that. I knew we must have gotten cut off. The service around here and at every power con is never good. Uh, yeah, there you go. Power con, work on your service. Anyway, so we were talking about the characters that Joel Ryder fans identify with, and similar just like with she fans. The fact that most people identify with Petra, with Glimmer, with people, basically anyone who's not a Dora. And it's the same thing with Guinevere or Starla, as you know her. So that was my takeaway from the panel. And they also were talking a lot about some upcoming story plots, some other fun tidbits behind the scenes. And there was one fan that was brave enough to go up to the microphone that they had set up to ask a question. And what they were talking about was the fact that as a child, he really identified with the fact that Adora and He-Man had a secret, basically. So they had a secret from their families, and they had to not tell everyone, basically, like who they were or whatever it might be, and that's what really he identified with. And that was a good takeaway. I mean, for me personally, um, I would say that as child, I did identify with a certain red-haired mermaid, and if you don't know me, I do love not only Tamara, not only Pink, not only Unicorns, but Ariel as well, and so I could understand that, and so that was some of the takeaways. So again, we are walking around PowerCon, um, they have some fun examples, let's go ahead and show you some artwork, there's cell artwork, there's some backgrounds, there's a vendor that is here. Alas, no jewel writers. They did ask. <laughs> they didn't have anything. And many of the other vendors have older toys that are not all from the Masters of the Universe. There's a bit of a variety, so that's, that's fun. Look, there's a classic old I want in like no one need you focusing on Hulk and Batman. I'm like speaking of books, did you see my jewel writers find? It was crazy to have found a jewel writers book in addition to all those other amazing jewel writer finds. Let's go ahead and take a look over here. It looks like there's some more vintage She-Ra. What is this? Oh my gosh. Crystal Sundance. That is fun. And a butterflyer. Weaned collector's case for Shira and her friends. That's fun. I just love this old artwork. And I think that my favorite thing about the old Mattel dolls is probably the box. Now, this is a fun find. Have you guys gone to Target recently? It sounds like this is where they have these toys. And... Or Masters of the Universe toys. Someone had a It's a graded, um, graded box version. So it is graded at a ninety. Oh, so it's okay. Very, very mint. Very mint and well. Yeah. Awesome. Very cool. There you have it. That's why it was. I wasn't sure if it was a rare, rare edition. And now this is one of my favorite pieces of art. It is the Masters of the Universe. Mattel. Fun story if you didn't already know, but Mattel actually passed on Jewel Riders, and they, that's why they went over to the center. So here is an awesome story that I'm a little bit in love with of the She-Ra dolls. Yeah. Yeah. Dreamer She-Ra, Princess of Power dolls. Yeah. 
Petra over here, Glimmer in the background. I sat here for a little while and just looked at these. They were so amazing. I love Glimmer back there, and the setup that they did is really well done. She and we got Bo up there, a ton of swings, looking all fabulous. Dora is going to change, slowly but surely. I really want to She is. She's changed into Shira. For the honor of the rice. Very, very fun. So, if you're just tuning in, we were here at PowerCon 2019 in Anaheim, California. And I was just recapping some of the memories that I had from PowerCon. Um, from this morning, there was a seminar, and there was a. Well, in fact, let me. Let me get the exact names, that way I don't say it. I believe it's Brian, though, but let me just double check. Um, yes, Brian Flynn from the Super 7. He was talking about the toys that they had been doing for the Masters of the Universe, and he had mentioned a really good quote, and he had said the fact that when we think about a lot of these animated properties, it's the toys and the experience that we had with our toys that was the true, authentic experience. And that is definitely something to be said, especially with a series like this is one of the Duel Riders, because it's our emotional feeling that we had with those toys. Now, they might just be, you know, six or seven inches. Actually, I don't even know how tall they are, but pieces of plastic. But it is the memories that we made with them. It's the fact that we opened and played with them and had jewel power. That's really where <laughs> the true magic of friendship is. And so, again, we are going to be walking around. I'm going to be sharing some more live videos and some photos of PowerCon 2019 and featuring Shira. So again, I'm Ron here from the Joyers Archive, and I hope you guys have a magical rest of your day. Remember, friends together, friends forever. Have a great day, everyone.